Hello and welcome back to Caltech Gaming. We have Crusader Kings 3 up today. A uh, very interesting title. Uh, I have played over 10,000 hours in Crusader Kings 2. Well, I haven't quite played that much, but it's been running over 10,000 hours on my machine, so definitely my favorite game of all time. And here we are on the new update, about 20 minutes after it release. I've uh, been super psyched to see all the changes this week with some of the uh, streamers who got it for free, but uh, I'm not that big yet, so, uh, you know, I had to pay for it like everyone else. Uh, and I think we are going to start up our first game here, and I just went through and looked around, found a, you know, fairly good kingdom to start with, and I think our first playthrough ruler is going to be Jarl Rurik, the troublemaker of Holmgard. This is playing in the 867 uh, setup. We've got normal difficulty, Iron Man on. Um, maybe we don't have Iron Man on. There we go. Now we have Iron Man on, so I won't be uh, doing anything I shouldn't. Um, so yeah, let's check it out and see how it goes. Alright, the whole UI is very different from uh, prior games, so it's going to take me a little while to get used to the UI here. But, uh, yeah, so we are, as I said, Jarl Rurik of Holmgard, uh, which is Novgorod. Um, sort of the, you know, uh, what eventually ends up becoming Russia, but... One of the, the thing reason I picked this particular character is because I saw that he is Norse. Uh, so I think that's just a fun little uh, thing. And, you know, if you're big into Crusader Kings, of course, you know that Rurik and his uh, dynasty, Rurikids, were, uh, you know, somewhat well known for shenanigans in CK2. So, uh, yeah, here we have ourselves and our son uh, Helgi and apparently two chiefs that are our half brothers in Psychov and Belzero so good to remember where they are because they are now a part of our larger dynasty but they are different families that is a new feature in CK3 uh, having uh, all, multiple houses within the same dynasty now so uh, definitely something we want to pay attention to as we start going forward with this game is any shenanigans we could get into with that. So let's have a little look at our ruler. We are married with one child who is an adult at 17, Helgi. He's a callous reaver, unmarried. We are a gregarious, ambitious, just, brave, a brilliant strategist, a forest fighter, and quick. So, definitely pretty solidly uh, martial. We are um, our Stardew and Norse. So we have good uh, fervor right now, unreformed Norse. We have a cultural head, that's a new thing. Uh, interesting. Current fascination is city planning. Cultural head boosting its progress, which is at different innovations. Hmm. So if at some point we become cultural head, apparently there's stuff we can do as part of that. Uh, yeah, so here's our religion. Uh, Startu. I probably mauled that pronunciation, but we worship ancestors. Level of splendor for newborns 100%. I'm getting married 100%. Long reign 50%. Pilgrimage for Faith. Okay, Human Sacrifice. Okay, so we'll be doing lots of, you know, human sacrificing. Good, fun stuff. And we're a warmonger. So we're definitely going to be uh, doing lots of wars. Good to know. Uh, we are allowed consorts, concubines, divorce, uh, cousin marriage, and bastardy. Cool. That all sounds good for stars. Uh, let's see if we have anybody that we want to make a concubine already. Just take a quick glance. We got a chaste there, so she's not a good one. Uh, nothing heritable, so I'm not going to worry about making either of those two concubines. 
Uh, let's see our son here. He's our son and heir. Arrogant, greedy, stubborn, skilled tactician. Not quite as good at us. Uh, he does have organizer. That's pretty solid. Quick. And a legitimized bastard. Ooh, he got quick. That's good. Did we have quick? Yes, we did. Okay, so that's that's a nice inheritance right there to start with. Let's go ahead and get him married. That's going to be our first thing. And see if we can find somebody good. Uh, obviously, I haven't started actual days running yet. Uh, that's why I'm looking at our marriages here, just to see... Uh, you know, what, what we have for uh, possibilities before the AI starts marrying off people to uh, <clears throat> reduce anyone that we would want. Hmm. How do I do a search here? There's our filter right there. Now, let's see if our traits are in here. That's one. So this is our filter browser is a little bit different from uh, prior. So it looks like these diamonds are our heritable traits. So we're just taking a quick spin through here. Oh, there's uh, an albino hail. So one bad trait and one good one. Got some quicks, some pretties, hail. Got a beautiful quick, okay. And a hail quick. Okay. Star of a high chieftain. So, because we don't have a ton of kids right now, I'm looking to see where we can get possibly a double heritable trait, if we can, or a super good heritable trait. It's intelligent, that's pretty sweet. But is it better than that double one I saw? Okay, so it looks like the icons are a little different. Calmly, fecund, that's another good one. There's the albino again. There's a pretty. There's our double right there. Beautiful. Quick. I think that's our best one. She's 24. Lazy. Callous. Alright. So, Gaida here. Uh, we're gonna marry to our son. Unless... Rank real quick, just to see if there is anyone with a. Eh. Just checking to make sure there aren't any rulers in here. I don't think there would be since we just started the game. Obviously, just checking to see if there was a Deborah-like character in CK2. There's a well-known. Uh, character that starts in the court of, uh, I think it's Northgrod, which is the uh, female ruler's court. Uh, there's a guy named Blackbird that starts there that says genius, and he's an awesome first pick. So, I was just taking a quick look to see if that happened, but it doesn't appear to have been something they brought over to this game. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and find that person I had a second ago with a beautiful, uh, Beautiful quick woman for our son to marry. That's the albino. There it is, right. Oh, that's hail quick. The beautiful quick. Where are you? There you are. Gaida. Okay, children will be born to House Rur kid. Chance of children medium. Our son loses some prestige. Gaida gets a bunch of prestige, and they will accept. Cool. So, marriage for our son en route. Alright. Uh, that's his claims. Me. That's all 
all of our stuff there. Currently our domain is one above limit. So we're going to want to grant our son, uh, whichever our worst county is here. Uh, actually, let him get married first, then grant him that. So that I don't know if he would refuse it. In CK2, they will refuse it if, uh, if you do that. Advice against protecting about factions. Do we have any factions? Uh, you have had a faction? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I know how factions work. Protecting against factions... No matter if they have a chance of winning or not... Okay. You should always keep an eye. Okay, got it. I will deal with factions later. Uh, something about an encyclopedia. All the highlighted UI. Okay, it's down there. Got it. Don't care. No lifestyle. We do need a lifestyle. That's definitely uh, important. Alright, let's just take a quick gander. So our education will give us a big bonus. So we are going to definitely stay in Marshall. Uh, 40% experience, oh yeah, we're definitely staying in Marshall. And what do we want the focus on? Strategy, authority, or chivalry? Not sure why this is unlocked. I guess this is saying that we're already a gallant almost. So I guess we're already almost done this. Reduces the risks of commanding armies. Courtship, scheme power, knight effectiveness, marriage proposals, fatal casualties, king's guard. Okay, spouse opinion. Trait Gallant. Meh. No Marshall Park. Peace Acceptance. Eh. Honor through Blood or Gold. Prowess. Advantages. Dread, Control, Marshall, Experience, Marshall. Alright, what else we got? Cassie's Belly Costs, Organized March. Okay, so this is our basic arms here. Come on, show me what. Trying to see what strategist actually does, but it's not being helpful. Um, dread, defender advantage, progress, uh, sieges, fort levels, army maintenance, mercenary. Okay, so it's looking to me like we really want to be over in this strategist one because I don't actually care about either of these extra two. So, uh, I think we're going to head that way. Alright. So, we now have a focus. We're above the domain limit, which we know. Issues. What are these? You can declare multiple wars. Titles can be created. Uh... Kingdom of Novgorod, and Duchy of something. Six de jure, all of which we have. We're not currently the king of it, not created. Inside, not... Where is this at? Luki. Okay, that is inside our territory anyway, already. So, we are... hang on, where are we? Dang it. So currently we have the Ducal title, oh, that's our house title. 
We have the ducal title, but we can make the kingdom title. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, because usually that comes with a bunch of bonuses. So... We're going to... Pretty sure, you know... Yeah, all those are the... Yeah. And it's only costing us 250 and we started with 5 so that's definitely a good thing to start with. I'm now a mighty king, having done nothing on my first day. Not particularly surprising. Um, interestingly, that looked like it might have brought our domain down. Domain? Oh, it just hasn't updated yet. So we should now have enough uh, domain, and we can see our kingdom is Gardakiri. Uh, not surprising. Can declare a bunch of wars. Do not have the maximum amount of champions. Champions for us. Do we have any concubines we want? Negative. We did not have concubines we want. Helgi can marry. Uh, did I not already set that? We're gonna see if that just takes a second. It might, uh. Thought I already. didn't go. I had the person for him picked out. Is this one? No. Huh. Well, that person isn't here, so maybe it's just taking a minute to update. Pause and see if he gets married, uh, just to see if that happens. Special succession types. Let's see if any of these are relevant. Partition succession makes us weak and divided, perhaps. Uh, yep, so that's our gamble kind, traditional, based on your culture. all of our uh, decisions now. It's going to cost us 300 prestige, which we have plenty of, so... Alright. Question of who will succeed me? Uh-huh. Which way is best? Scandinavian election? Partition. Uh, no. We want Scandinavian elective. Nominate an heir among the rulers extending any claimants. Yeah, so it's family and claimants. Currently it's male participant, yeah. So we will make 
make that change. Voting because it's only me, anywho. So, I think we got our, most of our starting stuff done. Uh, round. Oh, forgot about the uh, vessels and whatnot. Stuff to construction time is way long now. Um, so we're definitely going to want to get this stuff started right away. 100, 115 ninths, 9 effectiveness. So we're going to take uh, these war camps, I believe. Get that going. I don't care to construct anything else right now. or we can be more specific. Pretty good at, uh... Where's us? Not us? Yeah. Uh, so we're pretty good on diplomacy, definitely good on war. Eh, we're pretty good on that. Eh, we're not super on intrigue. She's also not super. Uh, and our prowess is 11. That's our fighting and our learning. Okay, so it might be worth having her do learning. But I'm not super uh, into that for this character. Reduce prestige cost, increase crown authority. Yeah, I'm fine with that. She can just be on assist. Because we're just getting good bonuses to everything that way. So we have a scold that's nine. So that is this is our priest. So we have a learning nine priest. Do we have anything better than that right now? Negative. So she can stay as our priest. Okay, can I get rid of these? These. I know I recruited them as guests. I'm the person who did it. All right. Chancellor. Current chancellor is an eight. We have an eleven there. Dislikes us a little bit. He is the spy master. And he's much better at being a spy master. Uh, K 
Okay. So, we're definitely going to want to bribe and or give that guy some titles. Because he's a very good spy master, and we don't want him being disloyal. Uh, did we have anyone else better than eight? Roll around. Yeah, not one better. Our steward. Currently a seven. Chieftain. And we'll keep him for now. We could get up to a twelve there. Seven for a twelve. Yeah, that's actually not super. Uh, it wasn't. It's a better spy master than anything. Well, we're gonna keep him for now just because he's a chief, and I don't want to have to deal with him. Uh, Marshall also a chief. My son can take it, though, so we are going to have him do that. Is this Marshall useful for anything? He's not. Well, he's just going to get fired. Pop my son in as Marshall. So that guy will probably eventually revolt from us, but we're not going to worry about that problem just yet. And we definitely want this guy as our spy master. But... him, for one thing. Yes. We want to... Nope, I don't want to grant him a title. Eskimo, that guy. Evil lackey? Act against you according to his personality, determined by his personality traits. This is Shadow, generous, callous, ambitious. Hmm. Rotation focus. Well, just send him some money. That should. Got him up to a plus one. We'll have to do more to help him, but hopefully the uh, uh, sways will help with that. Alright, now we want to do our missions for these. You stay on that. So, our religious mission... Ruler, Opinion, and Piety. Conversion. Uh, what's our religions of all this? Is... Looks like it is Norse. Start. Where's our overlay? I just want to confirm that that is, in fact, our religion there. Impassable. Okay. Faith. Why is it reading as though we were Souk Eskimo? Like that. Top leads, it's Faith. County faith. Okay, so the county faith is Souk Eskimo. So we do need to convert all this. Okay. That is what I wanted to know. And, ooh, Fabricate Claim is now a Scald action. That's interesting. 
that's going to change up uh, the MO some. It's no longer a Chancellor action? Huh. Instead, there's Integrate Title, whatever that means. Um... is our capital. I think it's this one, right? Uh, uh, right? Where's the bloody county at? Uh, Rusa? Is it here? Is that the capital? It's hard to tell. I think it's Rusva. Uh, I'm used to there being a menu over here that would tell us the answer to that. Tom Outliner. To main holdings. Rusa? I think it's Rusva. Looks like it's Rusa. Alright. So. Uh, are you doing that? Chieftain Rusa? Oh. 25 years left, so does it just actually take 25 years? Interesting. Possibly because she doesn't have very good learning, it's going to take quite a while. And because we're unreformed pluralists, it takes a while. Interesting. Chancellor, what can you do for me? Can't do this integrate title, so I would like to know what that is. Does it tell us in here? Doesn't look like it's in there. Well, at some point we'll presumably figure out what the hell that does. Uh, domestic affairs, direct vassal, opinion. Set him on domestic affairs for the moment. Our steward, domain taxes, approved development is our construction time. So we can get about 10. Taxes suck. Promote culture. What do order our cultures? Let's make sure of that. into something? Question mark. Norse. County holder. Culture Russian. So this is Russian. And we are not Russian. We are a start. No. We are Norse. So we do want to convert that as well. This one? Yes. Okay, so that's only going to take five years. It's a little better. Alright, Marshall. Currently raising levies. Good stuff. Could also do train commanders. No thanks. 
increase control, no thanks. We chief in the spy master. Hostile scheme, scheme discovery. Hostile scheme power. Meh. Find secrets. Secrets exist in any court. Hmm. That could definitely be worth uh, looking at. <coughs> Where do we want to do it, though? Let's see. Not super worried about anyone directly around us just yet. So we're going to start with our own court. This is another of the new uh, mechanics that is quite important from my understanding of watching some of the preview videos this week. So we'll set him to finding secrets in our court. And that's all of our council missions done. Court. Want to do anything? Probably not. Search for physician. Uh, do I have an existing one? Her. Uh, use couriers. I would like them by. Apparently none of these guys are good enough to be physicians. Okay, so we will start the search and turn on the notification for that one as well. right now. Those are probably important events for us, though, so we'll want to check in on those. My understanding is the events are much better than what they were in CK2, so, you know, we'll check that out. Our intrigue, we're swaying that spy master. Good. Factions. Peasant rabble wants lower county control. Well, they can piss off. Peasants. Bleh. Whatever. We'll murderize them if we have to. Decisions. Okay, no decisions that need to be made. Alright, so, now, our first question, then, before we unpause, is to raid or uh, to start a war. So, let's see what's around us. We are this kingdom here. stuff about. Uh -huh. So that's a tiny little garbage. I'm not actually going to declare war here. I just want to see what my CBs are like. Invade, raid for capture, subjugate, conquer. Okay, so we do have all the usual stuff. That happens to be junk. Estonia, a little better. Livonia, okay, so this is pretty good. It looks like we're gonna have a good start because I can think I can roll over all these guys from the look of it. Okay, so I can probably beat Minsk, but I'd rather integrate some other stuff before I do. Same with Tim, or whatever the heck that is. That one, and that one, and that one. So it looks like our, our first direction is to come out in this direction. So, who do we want first? You, you, or you? 
kind of think we actually just want to declare them all, almost. Because we've got enough men to whip the ass out of all these guys. I think. Uh, what's our military right now? Yeah. Plus a 75 in prestige to take that. That's fine. Declare that war. Raise all our armies. So it does take time, I believe, now to uh, raise our armies. So right now we just have our champions that are raised. And in a few minutes, our uh, the rest of our forces will come in. Boy, that battle music's a little intense, so we're going to see if we can turn that down just a little bit here. There we go, that's a little more reasonable. Alright, and we are on speed three, and I think we're finally ready to get rolling. So, let's go ahead. son accepted the marriage. Good. And going up to our kingdom got us the extra territory we needed. Good. Uh, that's fine. Let me get my directions for that army in first, please. Court physician. Frederick or Severker. Frederick is Eight? Ugh. No, it's Paragon. Oh no. Sixteen. Okay, and Sweeper is... Eight. Is there... Ten? Zealous? Just? Well, we're gonna take this guy, Frederick. Ooh, it's 50G for the physicians now. That's a little more expensive than in CK2. But still, uh. Who are you? I don't care about that. You. Treacherous villain. He's a good fighter, though. Blade Master. Uh, let's see if we can. Bring him in as a knight. Champion. Or root. I don't know where you came from, buddy, but uh, we are going to pay you to be a champion. 5G? That's fine. fight for us now in this war. These guys are going on to some boats over there for god knows what reason. <laughs> and then immediately came off over here. It's not going to help you because we're going to siege the hell out of this here rapidly. Uh, are you guys, like, sieging? Yeah? Hold on. Start raining. Did you want to win this? Oh shit, did I? Yeah, I clicked on the wrong province. Moron. I'm used to that being a whole uh, thing, not the uh, smaller group there. My fault for accidentally clicking the wrong one. I need to pay more attention. I wonder what our war is for again. I didn't realize that these were all different. That's just one county, right? Are we just in the wrong area for that one? 
looks like siege progress 20. That's a nice new button. I like it. Ah, good. Oh, that is such a great button. Oh, I love it. Instead of having to manually manage those. So we're going to stomp this little army over here. Covered a secret by my son. There's evidence from participating in secret rituals. Ooh, interesting. What evil are you planning, my son? Uh, are rituals a thing in this game? Are uh, societies a thing? I had thought societies weren't implemented yet. Uh, I haven't seen a button to do anything relating to societies. That's a fun little mystery, isn't it? Secret schemes, factions, decisions... Well, if anyone else finds societies, definitely let me know. Somebody's raiding us. Uh, none of that do I care about. I don't see anything that's like societies. Well, weird. a Slavic faith. Oh no, that won't do. We're going to use that information to convert him to Norse faith. Attrition. The, uh. Ugh. No, 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 no. We don't want that faith for our son. We're going to use that hook to black... Nope, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Uh, don't even have to use the hook. He'll just convert because we tell him to. Where's the raiding army at? Over here? Yeah. So we'll step on that raid here in a minute. This battle, obviously. And the raiders are running away. make the mistake I made the first time, going to the wrong area. And our first war has been won. Took over Vodki here. Which now puts us in the range of this, which we don't need just yet. So let's see if we can. Uh, hey, I don't want this whole thing. 
Claire works our armies up. That's fine. Who the fuck's raiding us still? Somebody raiding us? Where are you at? Being raided? Hostilities? Oh, that was just the previous raider. Scheme. That'll go off. Okay. Estonia and see if we can't mess them up. Make sure he's not aligned with anyone he isn't. Level of fame is less than illustrious. Well, could ramp for captives, but we're not gonna. Subjugate them, but we're less than distinguished. So we're just going to take the county off of them. So this one we won't be able to take both of them in one, but we can just take one, so we will do that. larger. Nice to see. Leave them alone. I hope I don't have to keep hitting that. Well, organize levy. Cool. Good job. Sunny boy. Enemy combatants. Jose. Ah, you're garbage. You're gonna get sacrificed. Siege one. Anything there? Hmm. Gain stress if I do torture people? Okay, no reason to do that. about you. you. Gain 10 dread and some piety. Plus uh, his faith, allowing me to execute him without being gain stress because I'm just uh, so we don't want to do that. Apparently I'm just, so we don't want to crank up our stress for getting rid of nobodies. We'll have to wait till there's a uh, what you call it a uh, Purge. I do not believe we'll find anything. Okay.
I've already gotten the faith one converting. We're converting one that I care about more than that. Yeah. Mm. Don't need that suggestion, thank you. Low county control in Boise. Which is the one we just took. County control mean. Control zero. Monthly increase. Levies. Okay, that's just because we just took it. Nothing surprising. Orders we can declare. Oh, that is such a great place. Love having that. Uh, can lawfully imprison Sophia. What did she do? Crimes, fornicating. Who are you fornicating with? We don't know. She was just caught fornicating. Huh. She's chased and caught fornicating? Interesting. Um. We don't actually care about her, because, um, she's useless to us. So, we're not gonna worry about that. Powerful vassals. You're not that powerful. So you can piss off. So if you haven't figured it out, I am playing pretty slowly because this is my, you know, first experience with this CK3. Just came out an hour ago, so uh, things are definitely going to be going slowly as I get used to the the new mechanics. Forceful knock on my door clears the drowsiness. Who disturbs the king at this hour? My late night visitor is none other than Helgi, my son. I want to speak with you privately. Uh huh. Discovered something interesting. Uncovered a secret of Chieftain Ingvar is willing to share. If I let him off the hook. Okay, who's Ingvar? Ingvar of Psychov, my spy master. Okay. Okay. Those of my hook on my son. I gain stress because I'm ambitious. Stress gain. Huh. Make demands, tell me where else. Uh, make my son annoyed. 33% chance, chance I have wound him. I'd rather have me in my pocket. I don't care about my son. I'd rather have the spy master. So the question is do we do that or do we threaten him? Shouldn't kill him. likes me by over a hundred, so we're gonna tell him that he's gonna tell me where else. Okay, we learned that he has... Okay, so, I beat up my son to find out that the spy master has a lover. So, cool stuff. He's wounded, he'll probably heal. He was a legitimized bastard. And where's my spy master? Oh, hey, it's you. Uh, no, 
don't have a hook on you. Anything you want to do with that right now? just for no reason. So there are perks and stuff that let you pay to, uh, or get paid for secrets. I just don't happen to have any of them yet, so we'll just hold on to our fact that we know he has a lover for later. Ooh, I just want to see who it is. See if it's, uh, the... That ah, was Sophia. <laughs> nice. So, apparently, she's the one caught fornicating. The chase person was getting it from my spy master. Who'd have known? The things these people get up to. So we're pretty quickly going to be able to capture, I'm guessing, at least these, and then uh, who knows from there. there. And there's some raiders that are going to come in. Victory, the battle of Pongaron. Pongaron, yeah. That was last war, I think. Oh, Malfrida, what did you do? Also a fornicator. With who, though? I wonder if we could investigate her to figure that out. Hmm. Oh, hey. We can seduce them, and that's interesting as a scheme. Seduction and romance? Doesn't require you to uh, have a thing. Not that I want to do that for her, this character, but good to know. Okay, don't care about any of those. Do you care about this raider? Briefly. This is about to finish. Okay. Uh, send these guys over here. So 
this cheeky little bastard raided that little territory of ours, which is annoying, but... Okay, we won that siege, we knew about that. We took another prisoner. Ooh, a child. There's a Thinka. Eh, sons of them. Ten. So that guy? Meh. Nah. Execute. What does it do? Yeah, still just. Yeah. Nothing for holding that kid. Estonian man from. Subject and okay. So you want to rule over Vaughn? Me? The chiefdom of this, which I just took, and we know is kind of useless. Uh, hang on, where is it? Two hundred levies, which is not a big deal. Try to hold one. That just yet. Who are you? Eh, a decent negotiator, reckless. Not very good though. Greedy. Nope. Not happening. to get better at constructing temples, despite your chaplain's poor learning. Huh. Me okay. Spouse's stewardship saved us some money. Gruesome. Barony, Barony, Tribe, Barony. Eh, doesn't look like I did anything weird. We need more money than whatever I have. Create that temple. I did win that, yeah? Okay. It's just taking a long time to fall down and then run away or whatever the hell you're doing. What is this red? 
what are you? Grand Chieftain. Oh, that's a an advisor. I was trying to figure out why the hell that guy was there. Seconds and we'll have won this war as well. Mm -hmm. And we took another hostage while we we're doing it too. Uh, fortunately, he's probably going to go free just as part of the war, but. Are we actually going to take everything? Conquest of Chieftain of Arad. Eh? not what I expected to happen. Somehow he ended up keeping that one. I thought we would have, uh... Ended up with it. Weird. because he was a high chieftain. Because that was the capital duchy. So somehow we ended up declaring on that because we can't bump him down, I guess. Hmm. Weird. Pay more attention when I declare that war, I guess. Alright, now we have an extra territory, Reval, which we want to grant to our son. Nope. Next up, Livonia. So we don't want to mess with that guy, because his ally is almost as strong as we are. And he's defending against some other BS, Paul Tusk. Okay, that's not anything we care about just yet. Actually it is, potentially. Defending Paul Tusk of Jerskside. So this guy is trying to take that. We don't like that. He's a different one. Well, then we don't want to get anywhere near that war. Um, 
much does our spy master like us? Well, he's good. So, you. Want to kill. Yeah, take eight years as long as this. Yeah, no. We can just keep swaying our spy master for now. And go back to the wall. Not allied to anyone. Tosk is in here, allied to Minsk. Which we don't want to deal with yet either. Who are you? What's being raided? Next. Nope, it's not. Hmm. Apparently we can't conquest that for some reason? Don't know why. Top realm, Cali Holder. We can't, uh, county conquest, huh? Weird. Of this worth anything? No. It's all junk. Is our military up to 2000? Your rights all varies. Counties are always held. This is another new feature. You don't have to mess with boats anymore. It just hires them and does it automatically, which is super nice. Although you could do some, you know, shenanigans with boats earlier in CK2. Okay. Sure, right there. 
stomp that raider. That jerk walked around behind me. It's now raiding over there. Well, it's all right. That's one of the good things about being tribal is he really can't raid that much off of me, and I can raid more off of them. about 1600 in a stack here. So, we're gonna do that. And 300, go that way. 1300. Pass up here into neutral lands to try to hit that guy. Not gonna get him, but. Just play and slay the spire. Good game. I got him into that. Hey, we can do a new Marshall Park, which I'll do right after these battles complete. Okay, 
so this war is done. And we can force our demands there. Useful. Meh, don't really care about that. So it is interesting that those left and right, the left and center trees there are apparently different trees. Above the main limit. That's not a surprise. So we're going to give that again to our son. Uh, what the hell is this county? the hell just happened? Oh. Okay. There's a weird color there for a second, and I thought I did something wrong. That's the guild. Development. Meh. Vody? Oh, that's over here. We don't care. Good. Let's see. Here they are. Hey. Can I see the, uh... Hmm. How do I see the breakdown of what an army is? Total soldiers levy. Levies. Huh. I mean, I'm just gonna go on the assumption that everything works uh, the way that things work in uh, CK2. 
so that we're going to want these armored footmen. They also cost the most, so hey, that seems to make sense, where your pikemen would be your defensive unit, your horsemen for your, uh, you know, raiding and stuff, and your lights for your sieges and uh, uh, pre-killing units. Um... and faith. Well, that's his mistake. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the shit out of him. Playing nice and aggressive, you can definitely see that. Strategical impasse. Strategical impasse? Same around the map behind Chief, uh, discussing your strategy. Kira bangs us. Says we should charge the enemy across from the light. Sits back, advocates secure locations, etc. Because we have High Marshal, we can do both. What do these do? Yeah. We will employ both strategies. Otherwise, my commanders can like us a little bit more, which I don't give a damn about. assume that those are both good things. And it also affects us, too. Let's see what those were. Uh, do we know where it is? Where is it? Uh, Dynasty? Strategy? Where is that event? There. I thought that it would have been. like on us somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Haha. <laughs> Defender advantage. Territory, fatal casualties, and attacker advantage. Cool. Mm, my we swayed him. Good. We really don't need to keep swaying you. Are you 
Anything good? Negative. Let's see if we can get up to any good schemes. Production claim throw. So obviously the scheme system has been completely redone in CK3 from uh, what it was in CK2. Um, so it's a lot more complicated. So I was super excited seeing the dev diaries about how that's being done. Uh, keep swaying him, but I was just looking to see if there was anything more interesting that we could do. Claim throne, potentially, but uh, I think that's only if you're a vassal anyway. Scheme, abduction scheme, fabricate hooks, yeah, nothing there that matters. Air to Rival and Volgata. Uh, half brother. Where are you guys at? Anyway. Yeah, he holds those two. Okay. That's good. I was just curious if they were happen to be somewhere else. Because that would put us over our attrition limit. So I can send about five hundred there in. Somebody's knocking on the door. Oh, Mark must be here. All right, so I'm going to have to go ahead and turn the stream off for a bit. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh... Yep. Hey. That is not the right button.